Weather and life both change quickly. Do you have a farm estate plan? You need to learn the best option to help your family avoid or minimize federal estate taxes and other costs. I'm Brad Swenson, President of Swenson Investments and Commodities. We work confidentially with farmers, ranchers, and advisors to help develop the best farm estate plan. During our Farm Basics time today, we wanted to talk about how much money a farmer gets out of the U.S. food dollar. It's a lot, Darren. Boy, the farmers oh, yeah. are getting rich. Yeah, the farmers, <laughs> farmers are getting a ton, Brian. You know, you think about it, if you went and bought a six-pack of beer, farmers would get like nine cents out of that. Yeah. That's, that's pretty good. Yeah, well, you know, some of the ones I love are potato chips, uh, eight cents out of a four-dollar bag. And, uh, you know, Cereal's how about that cereal? Way. Yeah, it, this, yeah cer cereal. So you know, this high price of grains right now, <laughs> farmers are going to get, wow, maybe seven cents yeah, out of a box of cereal? Out of a $4 box of uh, cereal. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just amazing to me. So back about two, three years ago when commodity prices started going up, there's this big talk about how, oh, the commodity prices are raising food prices all over the country and a box of cereal is going to cost so much. I mean, <laughs> come on. So, yeah, so the cost might have gone up from a nickel to seven cents or even ten cents. It, it was peanuts. And, and I, I guess that's, in, in our opinion, it's, it's just kind of a shame that the farmer gets the blame for all this, yet the farmer is getting a tiny percentage of the overall food dollar. I think it's funny that you just said it was peanuts and you're using an <laughs> ag commodity as the term for very low value. And you think about it, you know, uh, yeah. we're, in, we're in an orange grove here and, and in South Dakota, we look at oranges as, as a crop that we can never raise. So we think, wow, it must be really, really valuable. Well, farmer only gets about 10% of the final dollar at the grocery store there too. So it's not like uh, there's any huge, uh, well, yeah, deal it, for farmers, yeah. other than eggs, maybe, Brian. <laughs> yeah. Farmer, you know, eggs are so cheap uh, that you have to get something for them. You can't just give the eggs away for free. Farmers do get almost half of the the final selling price of eggs, but that's a rare exception. Yeah, but I mean, you mentioned the oranges here, and this is one of the things we don't really think about because we're not orange farmers, orange producers. But in a in a gallon of juice, the farmer is only going to get about ten percent, about fifty cents, maybe out of five dollars. It's just it's just so small. Well, I guess the the whole point today is not whining and complaining that farmers aren't getting enough money. That's not my purpose. But but what we wanted to talk about is just what the farmer's share is of that dollar. And you just think about it. The farmers are doing a great thing. They're feeding the world. In the United States, farmers feed many many families. It's not just growing food for themselves, they're raising food for hundreds of people now. I guess the last thing I wanted to bring up is, if you look at all the countries in the world, in the United States, we spend less of our income on food than any other country. It's a small percentage of our income that we have to, uh, to spend on what we eat, and it's even smaller what the farmer actually gets, a very, very small percentage. Across the board, it's about 20% overall for what you spend on food that directly ends up going to the farmer. Well, hopefully the farmers are getting enough money to control our weed of the week, Brian. It's a really <laughs> tough one. Can you identify this week's weed? 